name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment below. Still doing a 100 subscriber giveaway. I uh, don't know if I hit a wall or what. Um, you know, I've gotten, um, you know, comments from Ian Bellina, uh, Crypto Bitcoin Chris, you know, a lot of other people that I follow um, when I first started the channel. And uh, now I just, I mean, did I already, did, did I already hit the high and now I'm going, you know, I'm done? with uh, as far as subscribers go oh, god i hope not you know because i enjoy doing these videos so um you know let's get right into it here and, and today i'm gonna get my big head out of the way so uh you guys don't have to worry about looking at my ugly mug so moving into today 297 billion we're going sideways we looks like bitcoin and everything else had a little uh buyer's trap there um so uh, now we're going sideways again. You know, we're just kind of moving around that 300 billion line, which is pretty much par for the year. But we'll see what happens. Bitcoin dominance, 47.4. Now, today I really wanted to go over volume, okay? Bitcoin, obviously, every, every coin runs on volume. So if you don't have enough volume to sustain and move up and scale up, then, you know, it, it's simple as that. No matter what you're going to do to the coin, putting in lightning and, and the SKA and, and so on and so forth. Um, and then the Ethereum POS system for scalability and, and all this stuff. You do all that, but if you don't have the volume to back it up, it's not going to go anywhere. You're doing all this stuff to coins and they're not doing anything for you. So let's move into it a little bit. You know, I wanted to go over to Steam and, you know, Fam Unger, um, crew of analysts here. And uh, I, I really just wanted to press on crypto cred here. Um, for the past week, he's been doing actually pretty good on his assessments and probabilities. And a couple of days ago, he says, um, you know, all this wrong if closed through 7.8K. So what does that mean? Wrong if closed through 7.8K. So if we went down underneath this red line here, uh, let me blow it up here for a second so I can show you. So if we went down underneath this uh, red line here, then... Uh, and we came back up and we closed under the 7,800 line in this area, then all this, basically what he was saying was not going to come to fruition. Uh, yeah, crypto cred. So wrong if closed through, so all this could be wrong if they didn't close through the 7.8. And he was actually right. We didn't get under 7.8 when we closed. So um, it did the correction that it needed to. Now today, he's basically saying bearish break in market structure. Clean close forming a lower low. Support one, intraday cluster, cluster, which is this orange here. I'm sorry, which is this orange right here. Uh, I got it blown up here somewhere. Yeah, no, that's not it. Let's get rid of that one. Do, 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 do. Well, let's just blow it up again. Uh, let's see here. So, <clears throat> as he's saying on the orange here, consolidation led to a strong move. Broken resistance turned support. So, when we, uh, we broke that going up. Obviously, it took a nice big uh, pump up. Uh, this is the long target of liquidity. We really wanted it to baseline up here, uh, but it's gone back, you know, went back down to the 78.75 at uh, one point in time on the 28th, 28th. So it's obviously different time frame. Um, so clean break, hunt shorts. We shall see, you know, basically if he's right. So current bias. Bullish, definitely wrong if 7,200 lows is cleanly broken, which is down here. Clean break, hunt for the shorts. Okay, that's kind of what he's saying on this map here, on this clean break at 7,200. Then you want to start shorting Bitcoin because it's um, a new low, you know, a new lower low. So it's kind of how it works. Oh, man, this thing's going to beat forever if I don't touch it. So, all right, let's see. So moving forward from... Bitcoin. I just wanted to go over that real quick. Um, and, you know, look under Fam Unger if you really want to get into depth. But he has so many analysts, and I, 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 I go through every single one to make sure that uh, it's looking right. So moving into Ethereum here. Uh, I was reading some stuff on Reddit today, and Ethereum suddenly has $8 billion in trading volumes more than Bitcoin. Now everyone's like, oh, no, that's, that's fake volume, so on and so forth. Oh, no, that's got to be fake. Well, uh, okay, you know, if you say that it was it's fake, okay, great. But it's on coin market cap. And of course people are like, oh, you can't look at coin market cap. That's just telling you it's telling you as as quickly as it can update, it's telling you what's going on. Now, moving into actually what this says, it was at eight billion in trading volumes at one point in time. And it was. It was at seven point 
And this is due to a new exchange opening up in Asia. Um, and of course, it's another tether wash. So wash trading, the price didn't change. Nothing really changed. The percentages didn't change, didn't move up or higher. I mean, there's no, there's nothing to show you. So was it fake news? No, it's not fake news. It's wash trading. Okay, that's how wash trading works. And the big thing when it comes to this is it, Asia's doing it. Okay, this, this exchange called EXX, they have these EXX tokens that essentially is making it free for you to make transactions. Um, and then they pay you with the difference in EXX token. That's called a, um, a mining technique that they call. Uh, let's see where it says it about this mining technique they have. Yeah, so the Chinese have invented a new method to make transactions free while not quite while not being quite free. They call it transaction mining. As the name suggests, it trans the each transaction mines some token created from the exchange, like the EXX token, based on some formula. So you're mining a token while you're trading through the transaction fees, and then they give you a little bit of that token back. So essentially it's free. You know, your your transaction fee is essentially free. So another note, China's tether, CNYT, okay? Are the walls about to come down? Are the Chinese to, to now roar again? That we may soon find out as this decisive year consider. And so a lot of questions, obviously, but, you know, their CNYT, they really do like these flatline coins. I mean, everybody is taking advantage of these flatline, advantage, okay? Is it right to do as far as the exchange? No, because you don't see this stuff on the stock market ever fucking happening. Because somebody will look at you and go, you're trying to do something nasty. And that ain't right. That's not fair. We don't have that here. So EXX, USDT, um, it, it's just wash trading. It's basically what they're doing. They're wash trading coins. And coin market cap hit, you know, sees it, has to report it at one point in time. And then probably two hours later, the volume was down to shit again, you know, 1.9, 1.8 billion, whatever it is at the moment right now. $1.5 billion right now for 24-hour volume. So it ain't looking good. So uh, again, this is just my my opinion. It's not financial advice. This is just news that I'd like to, you know, I think everybody should know about all this uh, moving forward. So as you can see, I just blew it up just to kind of show everybody 7.4 billion Suppose a Bitcoin five and nothing changed with the price. No big spikes up, nothing. Wash trading, okay? Is it fake news is what everybody's saying? That's not real. Don't call me sure. It, 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 it's not, it is real, but it's wash trading real. So it's it's definitely um, showing you something that's not correct. That's not longevity correct. It's just a fake pump in volume for them to wash trade their coins out and make this new EXX mining coin. It's really what it was all about, I think, anyways. So kind of touching on that with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, Bitcoin, everybody still kind of thinks that it's on a bullish trend, but we might have a small bearish, um, another bearish ABC correction in the next week or so. So we shall see on that if that even happens. So moving forward into gaming. So I just got my Xbox One finally. Um, after, you know, waiting a long time, you know, and saving up money and, and starting a business and doing this mining and, and just th throwing money out at cryptocurrency to, uh, you know, put my set, set myself in a, in a good chess position. So I finally got back into, into my gaming. And of course, I want to start gaming and making crypto. And of course, Buffcoin was one I, I just wanted to kind of show everybody what I'm, what I'm looking at as far as coins go. Um, you know, can you use this on your Xbox and so and no, you have to go onto their system platforms and use the games they use in order to make these buff coins. So hopefully, if anybody knows, let me know. Is there a coin out there that you can use, you know, for Microsoft or for PlayStation? I doubt it because they're going to make their own coin sooner or later, just like Google is um, and then put it out there for gaming. But, uh, you know. Please tell me because I, I really want to start gaming more. And, and, you know, if I can get paid to game, then I absolutely will with my Xbox. OK, so last thing, last but not least, Crypto Fair and Greed Index. We're still at 54. Yesterday was at a 47. So we're back up in the neutral. So that's kind of a good thing to see. So uh, you guys keep taking with a grain of salt. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. 
Um, please do your own research, but uh, hopefully this all helps everybody on a macro point of view today. So you guys keep up the grind. Have a great day.